we're going to back up because it cut out. Um, so tell them what they said. So you can see here, well, we had... Well, they said that you don't need the room number or phone number, and they're supposed to reroute it to the correct place anyway. Exactly, because they it was labeled correctly with the name. And so here, this was to the former uh, Alexander Acosta. Watch my Alexander video. <laughs> Funny coincidence, huh? Uh, see? Look. Room number right here, perfectly addressed, and it was returned. Why is that? We didn't open it. It's completely sealed because this now becomes evidence of what was in here. We have several cases of this. This one is uh, Department of Interior, which, uh, see, it says the same thing, and it's the same handwriting. Need phone number and room number. No, you don't. You really don't. And these addresses, we verified them by phone before we sent them and online. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with the wrong information online? <laughs> you know, there's no excuse. Very unprofessional. Oh, and here's to the Department of Agriculture. Is he a good guy or not? Do we know? I have no knowledge of this person. All I know is that he did not get it, but the guy above him did get his. He's a deputy. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so this is a deputy for the Department of Agriculture. Um, same weird thing. Uh, delivery refused by chicken. There are two chicken shit to say why. And then they heard us talking behind the scenes, and that's when they started saying, oh, you need a room number and phone number, and that's a lie. You don't. It's helpful, but, you know, they, they know who these people are. It's like, really? Yeah. Okay, and I'm just starting to know all this, and these people in the mailroom work there? Come on now, get over yourselves. So this went to agriculture. Go ahead. I mean, they work in D.C. as mail people. Mm -hmm. Everyone who does the mail out there knows how it works. Yeah. So uh, so we're calling this, uh, and other people who are helping us, calling this interference. And there's gashes in this and stuff, but we, we didn't open it. It's perfectly sealed and in a court of law, which is going to be very interesting. It's uh, quite valid. Uh, so why was this returned? This went to Mr. Steven Sensky. And see, the thing is... Um, oh, see, it says right here, room number, well, is this our handwriting or theirs? Uh, that's clearly not ours. Okay, so. and to say wrong? How could it be wrong? It wasn't even on here. And it's the correct address. And even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't, they're still supposed to deliver it. Oh yeah, the main guy still got it too, so why did this one not get there exactly. either? Exactly! So I don't know what that means. Maybe this guy's a good guy and they didn't want him to get it? I don't know. I'm just telling you the facts. <laughs> you know, draw your own conclusion. I'm pissed off. Our whole board is pissed off. This should not be happening. You know how much money we spent? By the way, we're going to make sure that we sue to get everybody to pay us and reimburse us for this, among other things, because that is ridiculous. And so we had to open up um, an investigation with the, the carrier and say WTF, and they're telling us, oh, it was delivered at, what, a, a Walmart or something? I'm like, Walmart? Wouldn't they have anything to do with this? Are you sure? I don't know if that person knew what the heck they were talking about. Remember yeah. that one? Yeah, I, I do. And then some said, someone said it was put sent to a moving shipping center or something. Uh, you know what? Just find the package from crying out loud. Tell us the real story here. Um, you know, so that's not our job to figure this out. So anyway, this is what's been going on. What's, what's the deal, people? You know, um, this shouldn't be happening at all. You're right. I know yeah. my back starts to hurt after a while. We're still yeah. healing and this is really sucky. So uh, why do we send things to the Department of Agriculture? Well, because somebody's putting white dust something in the air and it's obviously not healthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just so coincidental. We have video of this. You know, we saw other people with video, and people were talking to us, saying, "Have you noticed this stuff in the sky?" I was like, "Yeah, I have no idea what what it is, and why is it coming out of the back end of an airplane? Non-commercial airliners. Come on, guys, they have the cleanest fuel out there. They have to. 
it wasn't condensation trails because if you do real science, they were too low. Yeah. And plus they were spreading into like clouds, like dust clouds and billowing. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. And we know that because we have video of it. And then we started researching more and it's like other people have been doing the same thing. It's not just us. Yeah. But we're the ones who are like being vocal about it and writing in. And I'm like, somebody's got to do something about it. And then during the, the Thanksgiving week, we decided we're going to collect the rainwater and test this darn stuff ourselves. And sure enough, there's heavy metals. There's all sorts of things. Chlorine. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Chlorine, all, all this stuff is very bad for you. The plants love the heavy metals because they turn it into organic metals. And, you know, we eat plants and therefore it's safe for us to consume the metals that way. But it has to go through a filtering process, meaning the plants or the animals eating it. And it well, the plants are getting too much now, though. Yes, agreed. You can see the tips of the plants starting to turn black. Yeah, so it's killing foliage now. But it was, it's very, anybody can do these tests at home, you know. And then it happened again, what, around Christmas time, too. Mm -hmm. Check out what was going on in the news during these times, people. You know, the parallel, how we were telling you here, I'm going to put my hands here because that's where I was putting them. A visual recall for people. The parallel between our dissertation and the whole impeachment Ukraine call weirdness thing. Um, so really, what, what, what's going on? We want answers. We're done. We want answers. We want to know what's going on up there too. I'm not pointing to heaven. Can you hear him? Yeah. Are we speaking loud enough for you? Did you look at our helicopter videos yet? You, you, we need to put those back up again if they were taken down. Okay. Because, you know, it's like, wh why do I have to go walking in a park with friends and family and be circled by these stupid helicopters? I mean, we're getting great footage. We'll use them in a film. Yeah. You got some great footage. I'm like, wow, that's like awesome. Yeah, you remember the one from the park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, they're great. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, if they're trying to terrorize us with this, you know, the, the meaning behind it is really creepy and uh, very suspicious. But, um, you know, we're like, so what do we do? And I'm like, film it. You can hear me say it. <laughs> Make sure you get that shot. Oh, wait, look, at get that shot, you know. It's not working. If you're trying to terrorize us, it's not working, but it will be held against you. Because this is more like, you know, what the hell? Yeah. And we go over the other side of the hill. We, we don't often do that. And then they show up there. And then everybody on the streets, like, looking up and pointing and like... It's like, does that not happen over there? Yeah. Is this unusual? They follow us. Mm -hmm. We were using, um, you know, one of those services, because I couldn't, I couldn't even drive at all during that time. We were getting uh, treatment. Very interesting stuff. And uh, I'm like, wow. This is great. <sighs> I'm being a little facetious, but we've gotten really cool footage of all of this stuff. And I'm like, you can't argue with, with that and all of this stuff. So our communication is being interfered with because people have lied to us. We have verified this information several times. Somebody's lying somewhere. Someone's going to go down for it. I want to know why. What are you guys so afraid of that we're 100% right and then unscrupulous people won't be able to make money with these horrible things that are happening? My dad always says, follow the money. You'll find the truth. No, well, they know we're right. Uh, yeah, that's a no-brainer. I, I can't stand conspiracy theory anything. This is factual. <laughs> you know, I, I find that a lot of the We've watched some of them. A lot of the conspiracy theories, there's truth there, but I think it's a redirect. I think it's these corporations purposely propping up somebody to do these conspiracy theory videos, so it's a redirect. Here's the truth, but here's a prop-up video person. 
doing a conspiracy theory. Look here instead. Yeah. You know, I was like, just, just do, we're using science. You know, I, <laughs> uh, people, come on, uh, stop. You're going to have to, whether you like it or not, because we're not going to take this crap. I'm serious now. But thank you to everybody who is helping us. Good Lord. So we're waiting for the sensible Democrats to help us. If you don't help us, talk to the hand. We gave you an opportunity. Okay. That's all I can say. Yep. You had your chance. I don't want to take sides, Democrats versus Republican, but y'all are giving us no choice. You're not even being slightly friendly. Very sarcastic, rude, nasty people that we've run into. Yeah, we'll help you. Just sign away everything. No, it's not gonna happen. Oh, and then with one of these complaints, right? So, remember how I was told that I couldn't be in the front of the room to compensate for my lack of vision? Yeah. It wasn't even my idea. We were talking to the president and the ombudsman person, and they had an idea. It's like, well, why don't you go to the SSD office? That way you can get compensated for. And then the president, not of the United States, it was of the school, so don't get smart, uh, was saying, well, if, you, if you're legally blind or you're blind, what are you doing in a dance class? It's like, wow, I'm going to put that on record. Thank you. Deaf people dance, blind people dance, people with less vision than I have dance. Why can't I do it? What, what a jerk. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway. So we did, and I think that they didn't think that there was anything there, you know? And yeah. obviously, they're like, well, you're legally blind, obviously. It's like, yeah, I know, my vision's really bad. Blame it on the cancer treatment. Sorry, guys, you know, I'm doing my best. And, uh, you know, so we, we called up, and they were saying, well, what is, it, is it true? What did they say again? I don't even remember. It was so stupid. I don't know what. The, the whole thing when we called up the s civil rights office. Um, and what they, what they say about what exactly? Well, what they were saying about they were asking us questions for the fourth time. It's like, no, read what we submitted. You don't need to do this again on the phone. They were just trying to shape it. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah not a Republican, obviously not somebody supportive of us. So we're like, are you serious? Why is it getting lost four times in a row? Get out of here. You go find it. Then now it's your problem. Very unprofessional. And then, you know, I'm trying to say, well, you know, that whole thing. And I'm like, well, yeah, you know, that, that was in the past, but I think somebody was putting up that, you know, stoking that person egging them on, trying to cause division between myself, you know, and the teacher. We had a really great relationship until those people just started butting in when there shouldn't have been planting ideas in both of our heads. Remember, we found out who was playing us against each other, too. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, really? It's like, well, uh, are you, wait, how'd they go? Uh, oh, come on. I. I, you know this person or something like that. It's written down. I forgot exactly how it goes right now because I really don't want to regurgitate it and think it because I love this person and all that. But I'm like, no, I have no idea who you're talking about. And I think the teacher thought I was lying. And I'm like, no, we had to sleuth and find who this person was. And then this person sent us the complaint that was against me that was a lie. I didn't even know about it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, really? And then you could see how the uh, alms buds person was dropping hints at trying to s paint me a certain way. And I'm like, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> There's no flipping way. You know, they're not even supposed to talk about that stuff. Yeah. Nailed, busted. And that stuff, there was no expiration date for that. Yep. And you can prosecute. I'm like, come on now.
And it wasn't trying to help either. It was purposely trying to stoke the flame between me and the teacher. And I'm like, you know, we got along fine before that. These people need to back off. So, you know, anyway, so that whole thing about me being able to be in the front, finally I got compensated and, you know, it worked out fine. But the whole thing about that is we were trying to explain it to this one person in the civil rights department, right? Fourth time. And um, it's like, but that's just back history and it's history. That's not what we're focusing on right now. We're focusing on current events and that's just FYI. And then all of a sudden we see a story. At, what was it on? Do you remember? I don't know what the story is you're talking oh, about. Oh, so. it was a story about um, a student being told to go to the back of the room or something. Hmm. Did you see that one? I don't think so. Oh, okay, well, I took screenshots and I sent you the link. A anyway, um, so I'm like, and this was a day after I had the conversation. So I'm like, okay, let's do the math and think about this. What access points were there? Well, obviously I was on a device, a phone. We're pretty sure neighbors have access to, by using other devices, um, you know, electronics, who, who knows at, with this one. This is not our problem to figure out. Our, our problem to figure out is how fast we can type this up and send it to you know who. So they can say, oh, another incident. Yeah. See how they cherry pick? <laughs> Just like with the whole thing, impeachment thing here, very interesting, I find. Yeah. And then this whole thing, you know, change your seat by a professor, go to the back of the room. It's like, I don't appreciate that. If you guys are cherry picking from that, you don't even have all the facts. You know, I'm trying to, I know my back is hurting too. <laughs> um, it really hurts in my neck when I sit like this too long. Yeah. It's like, uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, what, what, what are you doing? What's going on? Why do this? I've never given anybody permission to use my private phone calls to be cherry picked from so people have news stories. And you know, there, there are shills, uh, what are the three words we use? Spies, shills, insiders, right? That means basically the whole thing. Placed in various areas in the seven pillars of society. They're already in the classrooms waiting to have a story put on them. I, this is how it works, people. I'm part of the media too. I don't operate this way. I don't like it. You know, you can yeah. make things happen. You know how to instigate things in people's lives? I'm not a manipulator. I don't like doing that kind of stuff. I don't want to do that kind of stuff. I, I don't even think I'd be good at it. I don't know. It, it's just not my character or my nature. And now we're seeing this stuff happening and I'm like, wow. That's how it happens. And they stoke the flames of dissension. Why? Because it's drama and drama. That doesn't really sell anymore, does it? No, it does not. People are getting turned off by it because people are seeing it's fake. And yet here I have such a beautiful, great story, like my relationship with the ballet teacher. You know, wherever that person thinks, and. God bless you. I hope everything's well. I'm not pursuing you, you know, nothing weird at all. Um, I want the best for you. But just know I still love and care. And uh, I don't hold anything against that person. And I'm sad it, it turned out the way it was. It was going well and then these people stoked the flames of dissension. To think that maybe some people purposely did it just so they could make a movie based on it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What movie could that be? Hmm. Maybe I should braid my hair. Um, you know what I'm saying? I like that one French braid like this. Yeah. But you know, it's awfully funny that they represent us, isn't it? Where's Christopher, by the way? Anyhow, I find it very interesting. I want to know what is going on. 
it's very manipulative to inject something into a situation just to create something to happen and then base a film or two on it. That was our prerogative to do so. Yeah. But this is why, I mean, I've always wanted to get my books out there. But this was another reason why I had to do it so quickly. So, you know, no commentary on the grammar. It was just to protect, protect people, protect the incident, uh, protect me and this other beautiful person, wherever you are, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that either one of us are perfect, because I know we butt heads. But I'm thinking that the reason we butt heads more than we should have is because there are people poking us, you know? Kind of like, hey, that person hates you. And then somebody comes along here, hey, that person hates you, and just pretend you're that person, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there's this horrible wedge between me and that person. You see how that works? Yes. Just like saying, um, telling this person, I spoke to her about this, this, and this, and this. So that's your knowledge. Mm -hmm. And then my knowledge is, oh, we're just concerned about your health. Why don't you come in and we'll just have a nice little chat, right? It was very informal. And they were, they were saying, I'm getting ready for my 50th birthday party. And yeah, 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 I'm doing lunch right now. Why don't you come over? And I'm like, okay, it sounds nice. But in my head and my heart, I'm like, I don't trust any of these people. It sounds kind of fishy to me. Yeah. And then my husband, who's studying to be an attorney, he's like, bring everything. And my inside voice, you know, that little voice is never wrong, even though it might not always be right. I brought everything, big, everything yeah. almost everything in my life at that time, <laughs> uh, documents. And I had my doctor's notes and all, all of these things. And, you know, it was supposed to be, have been resolved. And really, my health, they just want to know if there was a doctor's note. And it's like, yeah, it's been on file for a very long time. Why, what's going on? It's like, I had no clue until two years later when I see the formal complaint written against me. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, because that one person who the, they put a wedge, you see, because they didn't yeah. want us talking. Because God forbid we compared notes. I'm being facetious. If we compared notes, we could have taken them down. Yeah. So they got us to kind of like hate each other. Although I never hated, ever. I mean, I might have felt like, oh my God, this person hates me. You remember so many times you would witness it. I'm like, why do they hate me? <laughs> you know? And I don't know. I, after the fact, with all of this other stuff going on, after the fact, we're putting the pieces together best we can. And it's like, holy crap. Yeah. What if this is what was going on? Because I know that that person can be moody. I can be moody too. But there were some things that I was like, just didn't add up. So in order to protect something bigger behind the scenes, which we really don't have anything to do with, that's what they chose. To destroy. To lie to tarnish, try to tarnish my reputation, your reputation, try to hurt that other person, you know? Yeah. That's what I think happened. So what does all this have to do with the Democrats? <laughs> because we're trying to go to them for help to get everything in our lives straightened out because all hell is breaking loose. Um, we shouldn't have to live this way. And I want to know why we had two very suspicious car accidents. I want to know what is going on. We all want to know what's going on. We've had too many people around us die. We've had, we've lost so much in such a short period of time. And then all the events leading up to this time just right now are very interesting to look back upon. Yeah. So we've got to know. And we're going to find out. We've done a lot in the discovery phase by ourselves. We are really, really good investigators. It doesn't take that much effort. Remember how I said, I told you this, because I, I like to give them uh, life lessons, give you life lessons. And I said, how much does it cost to bury the truth? Remember that? Mm -hmm. We were in front of a certain device and then one other one. They could both be responsible. I don't know, I don't care. That's not our job to figure that part out. And I said one dollar and what did I say 
but do you know why? And I never answered that riddle. Mm -hmm. And I told you why. I said, I think it's and I mouthed it in front of the devices because I just had that feeling. That was when the light of dawning was coming to all of us. And we were standing on the corner at the bus stop, not waiting for the bus, but we we're gonna cross the street using the crosswalk. And what passed, remember that day? Go ahead, yeah. say what, you, what passed. It was an ad or some kind of advertisement or something mm -hmm. that literally said, how much is the cost to bury the truth? And then one dollar. Yeah, it was a George Washington, you know, a picture of a dollar. It was for, I think, a, a program, TV, something in the media. I don't know. We don't really watch that garbage. So, <laughs> and I mean garbage as in TV. I don't know if there's any value in it anymore. Maybe, I could be wrong. But, you know, once you start seeing your words in the media, and you're not getting paid for it, it's like, there's a problem here. A big problem. Yeah. And then I gave the other side of it. How much does it cost to uncover the truth? So that was something I left unanswered too. Because I know the answer to it. And I want to see if it comes out. They've been behaving lately since we've been doing all of this. A lot of them are like, right? Yes, they are. Yeah. You should be a little concerned, if not very afraid. Because, uh, we don't lose. It might take us a while to win, but we don't lose. Why? Because we have the truth on our side and the truth always wins. And I'm not talking about perception. I'm talking about factual truth here, guys. So, okay, what's going on? You know, Democrats, very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. I see this as a partisan scam. I see this as somebody puppeting you behind the scenes. We can only guess who. Um, maybe not. And I really don't understand. <laughs> Come on, leave me alone. I have never bothered any of you. And I hope you guys feel extremely guilty because I know some of you do have daughters and I'm somebody's daughter, okay? Would you want somebody to do this to your own daughter? Wouldn't you go after them? I would hope so. I don't know, some of you concern me. I hope you wouldn't sacrifice your own family members, but I don't know. What was it that you wanted so badly? What was your asking price? Obviously, it was very cheap. Disgusting. What is going on exactly? So, anyway, that is my I can't even say it's just an opinion. We have this here. We, we, we called up the service in which we mailed. We've used various ones because we were like, this isn't getting through, what's going on? They confirmed and I'm like, okay, we have the evidence. There's something going on here. There's no excuse. And then why, if what I'm saying here is evident and actual, why is it that that's happening? constantly. That is the MO of the corporation from what we discovered to mirror, to redirect, to deflect. They're illusionists. Think about this. I know you all got a lot to lose. I don't care. You didn't care about how we had to live all these years and struggle. It's a miracle I got anything done. Thank God I had different last names because I probably wouldn't have had anything done. What, you want me to be your secretary? Screw that. I'm an okay secretary. Especially now, I can't do it. Thanks to the car accident, tendonitis, yeah. My neck, the curvature of my spine is still completely reversed pain all the time. I, I, I haven't even been really performing. I tried it once and I did a port bra and I'm like, oh, I think I could put this up. I can't do it for very long. I was, remember? I was, oh my God, I was in so much pain. <laughs> I'm like, pain meds, I'm going to try this. So it didn't go so well. And I'm like, okay, not ready yet. I was cleared by my doctor to give it a shot. I did. Didn't go well.